Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on brushes in Photoshop. I'm using 221 and but the same 220, 219, etc. But brushes and blending modes to create all kinds of different designs. Now at this point, this one, I'm using art history. Well, I'm not going to use that now. I'm just going to go back to complete fresh document and I'm going to go to the brush tool. Most of all the brushes generally have blending modes and you can use them, combine them in multiple different ways. So brush tool is probably the most obvious brush. So brush tool you've got here and you've got blending mode. Now, by default, generally it's normal. So simply go there, select a brush. I'm just gonna go with a very basic brush. Just apply it like that. And you apply it multiple times. And then if you want to, you can blend differently. So instead of you, you can maybe use darken. Now, if you're using the same color, sometimes it doesn't really help. Let's say go over there, blue. And you can see instead of, what's it will vary how it goes across. So let's go multiply so you can see the difference. Very subtle. Multiply and darken, very, very similar in terms. But you can go color burn. And you can see if you apply it a couple of times, you get some really quite interesting different designs there. Also, lighter color, you can apply it like that. And you can see obviously white. So if you go over and you've got white there, it obviously clearly nothing's going to happen. That's the great thing about blend, blending modes. Now, not all blending modes are available. It depends on this one behind and clear. It depends on layers and things. So another one there is quite good. is difference. And you can create some interesting designs there. Now, what you can also do, you can also apply an edit fade, which is really quite good. Now, I'm just going to go back to normal. There's normal there. And apply it. And what you can then do, or maybe let's just go over this brush. So just, just go down like that. And then you go to Edit Menu and Fade Brush Tool. So what does that do? Well, it means that you can then go and try out different things like Darken, Multiply. And it's actually probably an easier way to demonstrate all the different blend modes and how they will, you can create that sort of design, lighter color, light, linear dodge. It's a nice design and different and so on and so on. And then of course you can do it again. Like that, go to edit and fade. So I don't want to fulfill, it wouldn't be any use. And I can go again to difference, or maybe go to one of the other ones, lighten, or maybe darken. And you can also change the opacity as well. So you can change those. So you can see straight away, you can create some very, and that's just from one brush, one brush stroke. Of course, there's a vast number of brushes, so window and you've got all the various things, brushes there, properties and layers and things. So you can select a different brush and apply it and you will then be able to use different blending modes there. Now what you can also do, another thing is you can go to layers. So layer and new layer. So create a layer and with your brush stroke, see I'm using normal with the standard brush there. I can apply it just like that, very simple. And then what I can do, I'm on a layer so I can move it around. I can also, of course, go to layer, layer style, and I can add a drop shadow as well. Maybe not that extreme, or other ones. Let's see, bevel and boss. Let's just go for a bevel and boss, something like that. Let's just get rid of the shadow. So you can see you can create that. But what you can do, of course, you've got just a standard layer, and if you add more brushes, it's added to that. So I'm just going to quickly go over again to the brush tool. There it is. Now your brush tool may be in a completely different position, depending on customization of your Photoshop toolbar. Because that's, uh, but of course, if I add another, you can see it's just added again with that style, which is quite nice. And then what you can do, just again with those, go to layers. You can find that in window layers. You can hold down the alter option key, duplicate, and then you can go over here and use blending modes. And you can see you go through. Maybe go for different. You can see again, you can create some very unusual different designs and of course you can resize it, which is a good thing about layers. And also if you want to, you can just turn it into a smart object. So you don't have to do that. You could just go to, I mean, you just don't have to, you know, use it as a standard layer. You can always just go to layer and smart object and convert to smart object. And then what you can do, you can apply effects and all the things, but it's still got the difference there as well. I'm just going to remove that now. So that's my intro, guys. 
but you can also of course use other things so I'm just going to quickly go to edit and fill I'm using black now I'm going to go to history I'm going to use the art history that's probably my favorite tool of all of them so art history there's art history again maybe different position depending on your Photoshop so select that select a different brush you can then notice that the blending modes for that brush is very limited so it's like dark and or normal I'm just going to go with normal but initially but what you need to do is set up a start point so what you can do you think oh I had some nice designs back there say obviously I'm just guessing I'm just putting just I mean I can quickly check yeah okay that was reasonable and go back there now go to there I've got this history state that's what you add when you go along there you can add put it anywhere but anywhere look down that line you can add obviously you've got something interesting and you want to use in your art history and then you can see you can create it very quickly there and that's using normal but you can use darken lighten you can use hue which may or may not make much difference depending on obviously on the the image you've got and so on so on so there's a variety of different options there and also you've also got edit fade history brush as well so if you want to you can always change things but of course in this case weirdly it doesn't offer the options of the hue saturation darken etc which seems to be a bit of an oversight however you can at least do opacity so that's a run through of a fair amount of and of course there's loads of other brush mixer brush clone brush and so on and so on they all have got blending modes and they can work in all kinds of different ways with your designs and I think they're quite useful for blending modes and using with brushes I love using that so I hope you found this tutorial of interest always adding new tutorials about Photoshop Illustrator and many many other applications as well obviously any comments please put those I'm always uh, happy to answer any questions maybe I did something wrong did something right I don't know please let me know also a dislike or like thank you much